Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the first lesson of the Emperor's Insurance Dictionary. Today, we will be going over some of the most basic terms of insurance so that you can understand a bit more about what you sign up for, especially in the world of health insurance. We will be going over deductibles, co insurance, and co pays. For the purposes of examples in this video, I will have a health insurance policy with the following benefits. A $50 copay on physician visits. A $100 copay for specialist consultations. A $3,000 deductible. And 80-20 coinsurance. Let us start with the simplest of the three, a copay or copayment. A copayment is a stated amount of cost sharing which must be paid at each time the benefit is taken advantage of by the covered individual prior to any other cost sharing benefits. That sounds complicated, but in simple terms, it is a fixed amount that is to be paid each time you take advantage of a covered service. As stated in my example policy, the policy I have has a $50 copay for physician visits. That means if I visit a doctor because I am feeling sick, I will have to pay $50 for that consultation before the rest of my coverage kicks in. Next, let us discuss deductibles. Deductibles are a specified amount of money that the policyholder must pay out of pocket before the insurance company will pay any expenses regarding a claim, usually refreshed annually. My example policy has a $3,000 deductible. This means that if I suffer a bad break of my leg and go to the hospital incurring a $10,000 bill, I will have to pay $3,000 before my insurance benefits kick in. Now this sounds expensive, and it is, but the good news is that most deductibles are cumulative for a year and that copayments often count towards satisfying the deductible. This also means that if I continue to have a bad year, and after my broken leg heals, I develop a suspicious rash and have to see a dermatologist, my medical expenses for that consultation will be immediately covered by the policy without having to satisfy the deductible a second time. Bear in mind that just because a deductible is met, this does not mean that your medical expenses will be zero. In fact, that is very rarely the case. A dermatologist is likely to be considered a specialist under my policy, and that means that I will still owe the accordant $100 copayment per visit as listed on the policy. In addition, after a deductible is met, you will still have to pay through coinsurance. Coinsurance is the percentage of costs of a covered health care service you pay after you've paid your deductible. So if your coinsurance is 20% as in my example of 80-20, this means that after my deductible is met, I will still have to pay 20% of the remaining costs. In the example above of my broken leg, after my $3,000 deductible is met, I will still have to pay 20% of the remaining $7,000, that is $1,400, which brings my total expense for the leg to $4,400. So let's pull this all together. As a reminder, my policy has the following qualities. A $50 copay on physician visits, a $100 copay on specialist consultations, a $3,000 deductible, and 80-20 coinsurance. Let us do the math. For my original doctor visit, I pay my copay of $50, and my insurance covers the rest of the bill. For my broken leg, the $10,000 bill, my $50 from the doctor visit earlier counts towards my deductible, so my deductible is met with $2,950 leaving the remaining bill of $7,050, of which I owe 20%. This 20% is $1,410. Finally, I consulted a dermatologist, a specialist for which I pay my $100 copay. Thus, my final expenses for the year comes out to $4,510. That is a lot of money, but had I been paying out of pocket, I would have been responsible to pay the following, $150 for the doctor visit, $10,000 for the hospital, and $200 for my specialist consultation. My total expenses would have been $10,350, thus having this insurance saved me over $5,000. Thank you all for joining me in this first installment of the Emperor's Insurance Dictionary. 
I hope you learned how each of these three terms plays a part in your policy so that you can make accurate and intelligent decisions regarding insurance in the future. If you have any questions or terms you would like me to add to the dictionary, please request them in the comments below. I will be adding to this dictionary weekly. Share this dictionary with anyone you think would appreciate the explanations, and I will see you all next time to help you secure and conquer.